What's up, Z Pack? It's your boy, Z Dog MD. Yeah, I say that every time, practically. I don't care. I could say nothing if you like. I'm feeling oppositional today, okay? Don't push me. Or push me, whatever. Whatever. Fuck it all. Okay, come on in, guys. Uh, let me pull up the uh, let me pull up the live feed. This is like one of those rare YouTube live deals. Looks like we're transmitting. Josette Williams, Facebook supporters here. Mandy Breyers here. Happy Sunday. Marissa K. Good morning. Thanks for reminding me it's Sunday. It's supposed to be screen free Sunday for the Z family. This is the day we unplug from the Matrix. But those punk ass bitches are out doing violin lessons, which means. I get a little screen time because <laughs> I'm an, a filthy addict. I am. Uh, I actually haven't been consuming content, but I figure I could create content. That's a, that is an exception to the screen free Sunday clause. What up from school, from schoolwork in Folsom, Cynthia? Folsom, the California home of a rather well known prison. Um, Lane sent me some money. Sunday, 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 says Connie. Uh, so, dudes. Um, let me see here. We got about 50 people watching. We appreciate your addiction, Deanna Bonnet. It's what I do. I'm in my garage. I mean, this is where the addicts hang out. This is where, you know, you just, you're just like <laughs> with screen, just injecting screen, direct mainline screen, right? No first pass metabolism bypasses the liver, goes right to the brain, pure screen, no metabolites, not cut with any other talcum powder, just straight intravenous screen. Dudes, so um, I got these. So when I heard that Apple had new AirPods, okay, the first AirPods that came out, Generation One, looked so stupid. And I was like, these look dumb. And then Tom Heinenberg comes waltzing into the studio one day with, oh, thanks for the 10 bucks, Connie, appreciate it. Um, comes waltzing in with them and he's like, these are the greatest, I'm better than you, uh, fuck you guys. And um, I couldn't try them because I didn't want anything that had been in Tom's ears to come anywhere near my ear holes. These ear holes are virginal. They don't, they don't accept sloppy seconds from others, all right? When I have my aural pleasures, they have to be virginal. So Tom really liked them and I said, well, all right, fuck it, I'll, I'll try them. So I got the first gen one version and I was like, oh, at first I thought these were dumb and you look like a douchebag, that's for sure, because you have these little douche nozzles poking out of your ear holes. But I, I, I thought, God, you know, these are actually kind of fucking dope. I kind of like these. So I use them for a lot of things, including like when I have to like warm up my voice before doing a live performance or anything like that, you can hear the sort of vocal warm ups in the earpiece and then still hear your voice outside. I like the fact that they were fairly transparent to outside sound. And for some reason they stayed in my ear pipes pretty good without falling out so I could ride my bike with them, my bike, which is right there. Let me show you my bike. It's behind a bunch of crap. Hold on. There it is, hiding. It's a specialized Diverge, which is a cool, like, crossover, like, hybrid gravel bike thing. That's my wife's, like, $300 woman bike that probably is more comfortable than my bike. Um, So... I could do a lot of stuff with it, exercise. It's supposed to not, those original ones aren't supposed to be waterproof or water resistant, but they effectively were against man sweat. I probably wouldn't go in a rain downpour with them. So then the second generation came out and the main advantage was they seemed a little more stable. They had a little better battery life and they had a wireless charging case. So I gave the first set to my wife. I basically autoclaved them and gave, gave them to my wife and she likes them for phone calls, really nothing else and listening to like radiology books on tape or whatever the fuck radiologists do for continuing medical education. And <clears throat> I enjoyed the second generation one, but they weren't a game changer by any means. Then I saw, Apple hardly even announced it, they came out with this new uh, AirPod Pro, which is like 250 bucks, so it's more expensive. It's like a luxury product, right? But since I make my living doing shit that involves listening and creating content, listening to and creating content and trying to perform music and doing all these other things. I figured, okay, there's a business justification. So whatever, I'll buy it, right? Still hurts to spend that much money on this piece of shit. But, oh, Pippi Longstocking, thanks for the two bucks. Morning to you too. Um, you're helping me pay for these motherfuckers right here. So um, 
I ended up getting them as soon as they were available because I was like, I gotta have these. Now, they're really interesting. So first of all, Apple gives you a free engraving if you order them through their site. So it says ZDog MD on it. <laughs> In case there's some other ZDog that isn't an MD that is trying to step to me, I'll be like, well, bitch, this has an MD. What does yours have? Nothing, nothing, okay? And what's, what can you do with nothing? The answer is nothing. That's the definition of nothing. So I end up getting these and you pop them open. They have a wider case than the usual AirPods and they're different already because what they have, they're a little magnetically, they pop in here and charge by induction in this magnetic case. Boop. In this case, you can put on any Qi like charger and it wirelessly charges them. I haven't tried the wireless shit yet, I don't care. I still just plug it in with a little lightning cable. So from this, what, uh, what I found is it's different already because they have these little ear pieces. So unlike the first one, which has this plastic piece, the new generation has fittable ear pieces and there's three different sizes. And there's software on the iPhone that actually calculates whether your fit is correct by apparently playing sounds within the ear canal and checking w via an internal microphone the feedback and seeing if you have a good seal, which is really kind of nifty. So already you can get some mechanical sound isolation because the problem with the first AirPods was that they didn't uh, isolate again outside sound, which is why I like them for certain applications, right? So if you're riding a bike, you can still hear the street noise, assuming you don't have them cranked too loud. The problem is if you're on a plane or you're trying to tune out a freaking cat that's locked in your mudroom and you're trying to meditate in the morning and the cat's like screaming, but if you let the cat out, she's gonna go and start scratching on everybody's bedroom door and waking up the kids and your wife, so then your few minutes of solitude in the morning are gone. It's the only few minutes you ever have that keep you from going insane and shooting up a post office. It's not the best fit for that because it doesn't block that out. Now these, on the other hand, do. And in fact, I suspect they're gonna try to connect to my phone right now and mess up the audio on what we're doing or not. So as it stands, if I put them in my ear, I already have mechanical isolation. So I already don't hear that well outside of my head, which is already nice. But if you do wanna hear about it, um, you, you hold down this thing here and it goes boom. Okay, now what I just did was I engaged the, actually, I did the opposite of what I just said I was gonna do. I engaged the active noise cancellation. I can hardly hear my own voice. Everything went silent. All the noise in the neighborhood, the weird noises in my garage, everything is pretty much gone. If I snap my finger, I hear this dull clicking, not a snap. That's fucking awesome. And the battery lasts with the noise canceling on about four hours, at least according to my experience so far. And I think that's concurrent with what Apple says. And, uh, oh, it made things silent for you guys too, did it, Melissa Big Mac? So did it actually connect to the phone and is it using the, the audio? That's crazy, hold on. Somebody tell me if that's really true. I'm looking at your comments. Yeah, the sync is bad when you do sperm ears. Okay, let me take them out. How about that? Are we back? So Novel Idea says I'm out of sync. So it's probably because I engage them while using the phone and YouTube doesn't like that. Um, so all that being said, basically these new AirPod Pros really, really, really are amazing at canceling outside sound. Everybody says it sounds better when I took them out. Um, the, uh, uh, the quality of the music that you hear through them is better because you're canceling out all the outside sounds. So whether you're exercising, whether you're trying to meditate and you're listening to guided meditations or just trying to you know, block out a lot of outside garbage, distraction, they work pretty good. So I was impressed that Apple did something not totally fucking stupid. Um, they're overpriced. Uh, I've used other in-ear noise canceling headphones and um, haven't liked them as much. So, hey, once in a while, shit, shit goes right for ZDog MD, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let's read some comments. So, uh, I think you just sold them to me. I'm part of the 50% of the population that Apple earbuds don't work for me. Those look great, Rhonda, Fenby, Morris. Yeah, and there's three different sizes. It turns out the medium size ear tip works best for me. They have a small and a large. And uh, a lot of people who complained about the original AirPods are going online and saying, oh, these fit a lot better. Um, 
Jordan Jungama says, Z Dog on Hot Ones. Com comedic doctor assesses the reality of what spicy chicken wings do to the body. Oh, that's a thing? Spicy chicken wings, the only thing they do to the body is make your body awesome, dude. Spicy chicken wings are the shit. Anyone who tells you otherwise is some kind of fucking traitor to humanity and needs to be stopped. Chicken wings are the shit. Pope, yes, okay? It's Popeyes if you don't know. Um, Hi and Shao says Nanadeb63. I'm visiting my grandkids in North Carolina. That's what Nanadeb comes from. Nana is Italian for grams. I screwed up the spelling of my handle on here. <laughs> That's such a grandma thing to do, Nanadeb. I love it. Ashley Stewart is here. Rodney Badger. Crap, eating spicy chicken wings now. Yeah. And you know what? I'm Z Dog MD and I approve this message. Eat your damn spicy wings, okay? Spicy foods increase motility, which makes you poop, novel idea. They can. They also, there's some uh, feeling that it actually, it gives you a little metabolic boost. So you burn a few more calories with spicy foods at rest than you do with uh, non-spicy food, but it's a rounding order, a rounding error. Rodney Badger is a cardiologist. <laughs> See? Listen to your cardiologist, guys. Just finished rounds, he says. So this is why I love that YouTube, man. Everybody, everybody here. Uh, Need any boost I can get. <laughs> Dude, Rodney, <clears throat> I recently did a gig at the uh, trans, what was it, trans catheter therapeutics conference in, at the Moscone Center in San Francisco a month or so ago. And I had dinner with Bob Harrington, who's the chair of medicine at Stanford, and uh, Robert Califf, who was a former FDA, FDA commissioner. And, oh, who else was it? This dude, Magnus from Duke who's another kind of famous cardiologist. And um, I realized something about you cardiologists. Uh, yeah, Rodney knows it well. Um, oh, you trained at Stanford, Rodney? Did we ever, did we ever uh, cross paths? Rodney Badger, I, the name doesn't ring a bell, but I'm kind of dumb that way. But anyways, yeah, I realized, realized something about cardiologists. They all have vineyards. They're all into wine, at least in California. And they're all fucking awesome uh, when you get them drunk. So there's that. Um, Rodney's too, Rodney says he's too old for us to have crossed paths. I was there from 99 to 2012 at Stanford, uh, either in practice or in training. Um, let's see, cold rack of ribs for breakfast here, Josette Williams. Actually, that sounds delicious. Um, Rodney has no vineyard. What kind of cardiologist are you, dude? Come on, man, get yourself a vineyard. Stop screwing around. <laughs> Isn't that part of, that's part of your fellowship is like vineyard, Actually, you know what's funny? So at Stanford in 2002, I did my senior talk. You're supposed to do a senior resident talk on a medical topic you're passionate about. So I told them I was gonna do it on the health benefits of wine and I ended up just doing it on wine, like how to appreciate and understand wine. And uh, it was freaking awesome. Like I had this huge PowerPoint with like this color wheel and like this flavor wheel and how you, <clears throat> it was all animated. It was, it was awesome, at least I thought so. I'm not sure my program director thought it was so great. Um, put six kids through college, one million in tuition, no money left over, Rodney Badger. Dude, and your IR, your inter I'm sorry, your interventional cardiology, Rodney, that's uh, freaking awesome. Um, oh, you were there 74 to 85 undergrad training. Wow, all right. Well, we're just one generation frame shifted, Rodney. Katie Hodak, something you're passionate about. That's the thing, dude. I can't talk about shit I don't care about. And by the end of residency, I didn't care about anything in medicine. I did care about wine because I was living in basically, you know, an hour away from the Napa Valley and I discovered wine and it was my only therapeutic at that point. Then I realized I might be becoming an alcoholic and so I stopped drinking. Um, also, I was um, getting uh, GERD. Didn't like the GERD from the wine. Um, that is tuition abuse, Joette, Josette. Uh, let's go back here and see <clears throat> what other people are saying here. Uh, JRI073 says, I ended up getting a job as a clinical informatics specialist for a very large hospital group. Gonna get a feel if becoming a physician informaticist is the right call. Hey, informatics is the new shit because, you know, we done fucked up all our IT and so now we need people to unfuck it or make it worse, which uh, is more likely. So please don't be one of those people who makes it worse uh, if you can make it better, we will all love you forever. We will love you long time. Jairai or whatever your handle was. Uh, we will love you long time. Rodney says, great, do CPRS, not Epic. Right, Rodney? I just did a show on that, how the VA EHR, at least you only have to chart kind of what mattered. Although 
the notes are still bloated as fuck, right? They're still full of like, you know, toenail fungus. It's like, I don't care. It's like 30 problems of toenail fungus because podiatry was, you know, they're all integrated under the same EHR. Um, Sarah Crane, cardiology told my grandfather years ago to consume a glass of wine daily. By 85, she was knocking down a bottle of wine daily. And at 85, you can do whatever the fudge you want, right? Um, yeah. Uh, Tony Frankie, I have a DOMD friend that is an informaticist. He loves it. Well, it sure beats putting your finger in people's rectum. That for sure. You guys want to see my bike? I want to show you my bike. Hold on. Uh, just because. Why not, right? Here, let me see if this works. Oh, there's a microphone. That's kind of adorable. All right, let's come over here. Oh, look, Vader's helmet. All right, got some lights, the rest of my gay garage. Here's Z-Dog MD's, you know, costume closet. See if you can find the readmission pimp coat. There it is. Uh, all right, let's see. We got a car seat, and then we've got my bike, which I love so much. It's a specialized diverge. Uh, it's got, it's a one by, so only one crank in the front, which makes it easy. And so I guess it's like 11 speed ultimately, but it's all that I need to crank up the hills. You can go on trail and on road and they feel equally awesome. Actually, the trail's a little tricky because it doesn't have any suspension except this little guy called a future shock suspension in the front. I put my phone on here so I can be distracted while I bike. Um, it's got, uh, you know, the standard disc brake action, which I like a lot. It's carbon fiber, so it's super light. Got my little, uh, I got like these hybrid cheapo clipping, clipless pedals, right? But on the other side, you can ride with just flat shoes. So when I'm just chilling with my kids, I can have both. And uh, what else can I tell you about this bike except that I love it and I take it out a lot in the Bay Area. It's one of the few joys of moving back to the Bay Area. It costs taxes, all that other bullshit, but you get to ride on crazy beautiful outdoor nature scenery. So that is pretty cool. And yeah, the bike is light. And no, you don't see a helmet, someone said, because the helmet is, hold on. Helmet's right here. Oh, by the way, check this out. Uh, <clears throat> these guys sent me all this cool propaganda. Immunization Action Coalition. <laughs> Hi, Z-Dug and Tom. So the flu buttons, we got flu vaccine. So got your flu, I got mine. I, in fact, I posted a picture of it. Flu stickers, vaccine save lives. Pretty awesome. From immunize.org, which is a fantastic website, by the way, for, I send people there for any, um, any, look at this. <laughs> I love it. Um, for any, um, uh, uh, what, what, was I, what was I trying to say? Oh, for any, any immunization questions, they have all the studies and everything there, really good uh, uh, mechanisms to teach. Um, I guess I need my iPad to answer comments. Ah, forget it. Let's just go inside, because why not, right? Mm, 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 mm. Let's come over here and uh, chillax because the family's gone. So I get the whole house to myself. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see where are we at. Oh, you guys want to see out the window here? Check it. Nice, huh? It's a good day today. This is, this is our kitchen view. Kind of nice. So that's one of the advantages of moving back here is you get a lot of beautiful nature which I love. Um, I could do without the people. <laughs> Bay Area people are snotty assholes. Um, I liked Vegas people, they just didn't give a fuck, you know? It was just much better. Um, I just got varicella and MMR for work. I don't need them as I was born in 57, but happily happy to jazz my immune system, Rodney Badger. Hell yeah, right? So there's really no downside to doing that except for the autism, which Rodney, as an interventional cardiologist, you could use more of, you know? It's helpful. Um, peaceful place to relax, Michelle Tennant. It really is. Uh, actually, if you guys want, well, here, let's just step out. Um, I do this a lot of times for Facebook. Uh, let's give it a shot for YouTube, why not? Here. Let's 
go outside. Go outside and see what's up. All right. Oh, it's a nice, it's such a nice day, you guys. I wish you could be with me here. Some of you guys who are out here already, so it's just beautiful out here. And I was talking about mountain biking. There's a trail right over here. So I have a gate that goes out to this trail, which I can then, um, you know, let anti-vaxxers in to try to murder me. And then I can have an excuse to murder them back. And then it'll be mutually assured murder. Um, but you listen, listen, you can hear, you hear people on the trail. Um, yeah, there is banana dock. There is smoke still from the fires in uh, Sonoma and uh, Sonoma County. It's still coming down south through the bay there on the horizon. Um, oh, there's a lizard. Hold on, hold on. Let's take a look. Do you guys see it on the, on the lawn? There it goes. Dude, this backyard has so much um, fucking nature in it. It's crazy. It's nuts. It's like a wild kingdom out here. Um, there's rabbits, bobcats, foxes, raccoons, uh, gophers, moles, all, every type of bird you could imagine. Um, dingoes, there's dingoes out here. <laughs> Might be a dingo at you, baby. Uh, dogs with two Gs, novel idea. Here, let's look, at, let's look at some flowers, why not? Pretty little flower, let's do that. Oh, isn't that nice? Ooh, look, a birdie. Oh, the birdie disappeared. And yeah, I use the term birdie, what? And I'm not playing golf. Oh, listen, listen, bikers. Okay, watch. There we go. Yeah, I live in a crazy place though, right? A crazy fucking place. I like it, not gonna lie. We still haven't done up the backyard properly for sitting, like there's nothing to sit on. Do you guys remember that table? We used to have it on the show in the early days when I was in Vegas doing the show out of my house. That was the table I used to stand on for incident report. Um, yeah, ooh, look at this flower, hold on. Nice little rose. This new iPhone has a beautiful camera. I mean, look at that. That's just a phone. It looks like how SLRs used to look back in the day. That is crazy. It's got the like depth of field and everything. Pretty sweet. Here, I'll show you a little cactus garden. Oh, thank you, Melissa, for the 10 bucks. I appreciate that. You are a supporter. Much appreciated. We'll get into the weeds here in the... What? Ooh, hummingbird. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh, cool. Spiderweb. <laughs> uh... I'm such an idiot, you guys. I'm just like, here, let me bore you with like uh, close-up shots of my d random plants in my backyard. But you know what? It's Sunday. The video quality is awesome, says Risa. Yeah, I'm surprised at how good it is, right? It's kind of crazy. Here, here, check it out. Check it out. Look at that video quality. I don't know if you guys see what I see on my phone, but it is really nice. Kind of shocking. Here's a jade plant. Little succulent action. There's our little bird bath. There's no, nothing in it. Let's see if we can come over here. There goes that lizard. Oh, check him out. Check him out. Do you guys see him? Sweet. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see if we got some comments here. Yellow Rose once met a urologist named Dr. Wang. No joke, says Deanna Bonnet. <laughs> oh, they always say like doctors die of their specialty. So I'm not inclined to become a urologist. 
you know? I want to become a psychiatrist. I want to, I want to die by depression or bipolar. Actually, I don't. That sounds terrible. But at least it's kind of in your control, not really. So pretty. Love flowers, says Kristen Piles. Flowers are pretty. Uh, I'm afraid to go too far here because I'm going to lose Wi-Fi. Let me see. Where else can I go? Oh, no, that was not what I thought it was. Oh, well, anyways. So uh, that's today. I got nothing else. Let me put this up here and we'll read some comments. You can tell I get lonely when no one's home. Uh, Cause I just start live streaming even on Screen Free Sunday. Z Dog, grow a huge beard, rookie eleven. I can't. It gets really nasty. My wife won't let me have it. You know what I mean? It's dark in here, fam. Can't really make it lighter. I'm trying. Whoops. I've tried to report myself just now by pushing the wrong button. Um, Plus, uh, Rodney says, numerous phone calls and forms and requests Medicare, life easier for me. Oh, are you, oh, I missed that conversation. David Blake, uh, what do you practice, emergency medicine? I'm a hospitalist, David. Uh, and I still round at our county hospital in Vegas. I fly out there and round with the house staff, but only for fun, not for money. Because if anyone paid me to do medicine, I'd have a tremendous conflict of interest with the stuff that I say, which is often, um, would get me fired uh, from any real paying job. Uh, it is busy, David, uh, which is why I can't do it full time um, because I wouldn't be able to, you know, sit in my backyard and talk to you. <laughs> wouldn't be able to do the show and the music videos and all the other stuff. Um, appreciate the surprise stream, says Denise. Hey, I appreciate you being here. Marissa K says you should actually put water in that bird bath. You'd be surprised they'll use it and just give them time to feel safe. Uh, so Marissa, usually there's two bird baths here. Let me show you. There's this bird bath and there this one. Fill it up, and they are teeming with birds when it's full. So like I'll sit inside and I'll just watch this particular bird bath. And there's like all these crazy fucking birds in there um, just going nuts. And, oh, my phone ate a bowl here. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn it back on. There we go. My little little gizmo that holds the phone, the gimbal, it's really weird sometimes. It just stops working. Yeah, so it's really, really awesome when there's, it's full of birds. Um, all right. I think that's it, guys. Uh, I wanted to show you these AirPods. I wanted to hang out a bit. I wanted to uh, get your comments. Um, I want to let you guys talk with each other in the chat stream, which is awesome. If you guys want to do more of that, like if, you, um, if you're if you a Facebook person at all, the supporter tribe on Facebook, it's like five bucks a month, but we have these conversations and people chat with each other in the discussion threads. Uh, it's a pretty good thing, but I'm going to try to do more and more YouTube too, just because the quality is better and I hate Zuckerberg. Um, so what else? Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I love you guys. I will see you soon. This, oh, 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 this week, lots going to happen. So we're going to be doing a show with some really cool guests on Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm going to be in Las Vegas uh, with the boys and we're going to do some content. We may do a live show out of there. Or we may just do some cool pre-recorded content for you guys, work on lyrics for new music videos. Um, Thursday, we're going to do our first episode of Liver Rounds uh, live where me and another doctor have some beers and talk shit and take your comments. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that on Facebook or on YouTube. There is a good part of me that wants to do it on YouTube. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments after the show is over because if you leave comments before the show is over, it's in that weird chat box and it's hard to find. So leave them in the, oh, thank you, Katie. Leave them in the, uh, uh, in the uh, 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 comments after the show. And, uh, and then Saturday, I'm going to be having Don Dr. Donald Hoffman uh, professor of cognitive science, psychology, and computer science at UC Irvine on to talk about this conscious realism thing that I'm always talking about. So he's the uh, developer of this theory and a personal intellectual hero of mine. And I think uh, if he's right, he's like the next Galileo or Newton or Einstein because he's 
taking us to that next perceptual shift in science and the perception of reality as it is. So that being said, uh, stay tuned. I hope you guys are safe this weekend and are having fun and enjoying what little is left of fall. Uh, and uh, we out. Peace.